few singers are better than Linda Ronstadt. Known as the first lady of rock, she sold more than 100 million albums. Her powerful and sultry voice mesmerizing fans worldwide. In her five decades of making music, she's conquered nearly every style from pop, country and Broadway to foreign language. Her first Spanish speaking album, one of the best selling of its kind ever. The hardest thing to write about. Now at age 76, Ronstadt is celebrating her Mexican heritage in a new memoir called Feels Like Home, a song for the Sonoran borderlands. A reference to the region along Arizona's southern border where she grew up, her grandparents Mexican immigrants. Her home filled with the traditions, cuisine, and music of Mexico. I loved singing with my family. We didn't have to talk politics that way. <laughs> so we wouldn't talk, we'd sing. This In her new book, Linda also this. includes this recipes of her favorite I Mexican from foods from childhood. I got a taste at her home. This is a cowboy lunch. This is a cowboy lunch. <laughs> but today, even holding a spoon can be a challenge. Linda has a neurological condition called progressive supernuclear palsy, similar to Parkinson's disease. It impacts her movements, cognition, and her ability to sing. You said you miss singing every day? I can sing in my brain. You sing in your brain? It's not quite the same. What is that like when you sing in your brain? What do you just hear the melody? Sometimes I, I choose a song and sometimes my brain chooses a song. My brain chooses the worst music blares away in my head, like um, really bad Christmas carols. Linda has always carved her own path in her career and in her personal life. Despite romances with former California Governor Jerry Brown and filmmaker George Lucas, she never got married, instead adopting two children on her own. You didn't ever think of yourself as the marrying kind. Why not? Not cut out for marriage. Why? I think there's such a thing as adult onset. Narcissism. Uh, I think a lot of us were guilty of that. Through her book, Linda wants to give back and honor the Mexican culture that shaped her as an artist. She remembers a record executive in the 90s trying to dissuade her from recording a Spanish-speaking album. Oh, yeah, he said, please don't do this. It'll destroy your career, what's left of your career. And I, I just couldn't hear him. And what did that make you feel like? Did that give you a sense of shame? It made or me feel like we were you... being marginalized and that Mexicans are invisible. In this culture, they're invisible. They're expected to be in the kitchen washing dishes or cooking for you or cleaning your house. But they don't seem to have another context. As we wrapped our time together, Linda talked about getting older and the wisdom it provides. You said you don't get to your age without regrets. Yeah. Do you have a lot of regrets? A few. Not a lot. A few? Yeah. I'm not going to tell you what they are. <laughs> 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 Linda says that when she was a teenager, her mom said, you don't have to get married, that you have lots of other options, which I thought was really progressive of the yeah. mother at that time. She said her mother also said, don't learn to type. Because oh. if you learn to type, you'll be stuck typing for the rest oh. of your life. Uh, so, what did you come away with? That was so beautiful. Well, she's so wise and yeah. she's so thoughtful. She said, you know, I'm thinking about my regrets. I'm thinking about end of life issues. Wow. I'm thinking about, you know, what does it all mean? Yeah. And uh, I want to continue to use my voice. And now I'm using it through this book and in other ways. Wow. But wow. I thought about radical surrenderings, you know, having the gift that you've been given taken away from mm -hmm. you. Yeah. And not being able to do anything but accept that or surrender to that is such a spiritual yeah. act. And with humor t still, too. Yeah. She yeah. still had that signature. Many people humor. forget how much of a powerhouse she was yeah. in music. She was yeah. the first female artist to ever have four consecutive records, albums, go to a platinum status. Which and is, how hard that was. It's impossible. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, she's such an incredible voice. I've been listening to her music nonstop since yeah. the conversation, yeah. and it's it takes you back, yeah. and it's so beautiful. She is, I beautiful. mean, it's just, there's no voice like it. She's just so yeah. distinct. Oh, thank you. Yeah. 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 Great so conversation. Yeah. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.